Welcome back to part 20 of gaming drama, everybody! You see, recently the homie Asmongold was caught laughing at the Stellar Blade character meme. And they're, they're like, hey man, why are you laughing? They try to cancel the homie. Meanwhile, doctors always say laughing is the best medicine ever. Laughing is good for you, Bruh. but they don't want to see any of us laugh. They don't want to see us having fun playing video games, right? And guys, there's a video that I want to show you. Like the video if you do not want woke crap in video games. Dislike the video if you love woke crap in video games and get ready for the climax guys you're not gonna believe what just happened roll it things i will never understand in life why does the cashier take so long behind the counter what are they typing on that tablet that uh, takes them at least five minutes before they ring up my yeah they're probably like getting ready 10 percent tip or charge you 10 20 percent tip for no damn reason but card, what it is. why does valve not believe in the number three why do mexican moms continue to use fabuloso when it makes people nauseous in the house <laughs> why are people so reluctant to call a hot dog a sandwich yeah it's like the same thing right like i'm pakistani i'm brown so like in urdu i would like to say yeah pe so sore ki gaand phati hoti hai to uske alawa banda kya hi kare like the video if you understood like the video if you did not understand either so why does baby Bruh. clothes have pockets on it why do people yeah, why? have dishes that are only meant for display and last but not least why do we challenge beauty standards y you'd figure with how long humanity's been around we've already finally narrowed down oh what we consider God. to be attractive Damn. hey yo yo did you see how she pushed Damn, she about to go to a different planet with that horsepower right there, bro. Beautiful bruh. and stellar, and yet yeah, for some- yeah, it, This is stunning, this is brave, this is strong, independent, need no win. You know, men are always just manipulating. Reason, society, or pff, I don't know why I say society, just a percentage of the mentally ill more like. He's out of line, but he's right. Have what? taken it upon themselves to try and completely change the face of beauty. Get people used to the fact that ugly people exist as if they don't deal with that enough as it is in their real world. Hell, some of them have to deal with it when they wake up and look at themselves in the mirror. Because common folks oftentimes don't really have reliable <laughs> parents, friends, family, hell, not even the therapist is useful. And we partnered partnered with Unreal Engine and Woman in Games to change this. What? You what game is that from though? Is that yeah, real they game? will get more encouragement from the depiction of some super jacked character on television, in their Holy movies, crap. in their games, in their books, you name it. Because okay. normal folks wait for it, guys, wait for it. We'll look at something like that and Challenge them. Maybe if I join a gym and start working out, I'll be happy. They don't want you believing that though. They want you hooked on McDonald's, Taco Bell every single day. Guys, drink water, do 20 push ups right now, immediately, okay? And then uh, like the video though. Themselves to make drastic changes in their lives to match what they see. But the other crowd, instead of doing that, looks to challenge what is beauty, what is acceptable. So now all the people who have worked so hard. Yeah, they're... this is like e e like e e e. Apparently, they don't like this. They don't like this. They love this though. You know, you know. This is uh, friendly. This is stunning. This is brave. This is fearless. You know, this is need no man. Yeah, they they want to see that. I mean, whatever happened to all that? Like, hey, we need more female representation. It's like they want to cry when there's no female representation uh, representation or no like main female protagonist but they also want to cry when there is female or main female protagonist what y'all want do you guys just want like males uh, as protagonists but dressed up as females and with v v uh, like wig with hair is that what y'all want we I, we know like men are the best but like damn homie like we also want female characters I think they realize that men are the best, so this is why, like, have a male character, male protagonist, but, like, dress him up as a female and give him a wig, or, yeah, give him a wig, and then you got a female character, right? Entire lives to maintain such a physique that they absolutely 100% deserve to show off is Damn. undermined by an obese... Man, that feminine jawline, that's, like... You know what I mean? Like, we don't even get that in video games at all. You thank you for subscribing. You feel what I'm saying, right? Look at that female jawline. This is the fe feminine jawline, bro. Holy, this is like crazy that... And this is why they're mad. Because she has hair. She has, she has 
a head full of hair. She has a ponytail. You know, Sigis were crying about the ponytail. We covered that in the last video. Because she is an actual female character. This is why they're mad. No real men are mad about this. Like, we love it. We love it. Look at this homeboy. He playing. He liking it. Look at, look at the, look at the smile. Look at the joy he got on his face, though. And he has a, don't tell his girlfriend that he was playing this game, okay? You know, it's not gonna end well, though. Don't tell his girlfriend that he was actually smiling while playing this game, though. She won't like it, though. It's undermined by an obese purple hair slash he slash they slash she slash them person who've been artificially propped up as just Dang. as good and acceptable. I mean, could you imagine being a fitness model who just lost their opportunity to be on the cover of a magazine because they decided we need fat chicks instead? And I'm saying chicks because this face- Okay, it says, what the hell does it say though? I gotta hide the face cam so you guys can read it. Why does player one always have to be size zero? 74% of girls feel underrepresented in video games. In video game characters. That's why we partnered with Unreal Engine and women in games to make virtual beauty real, bruh. Like, you crazy? Bruh. You sick is crazy? Even my, uh, no, that's probably, that's probably, that's a BBC bundle from Call of Duty, not talking about, that's my bruh. bruh. Even my bruh man from Starfield is looking at your dumbasses and he's like, bro, what the actual hell? If you guys think that 74% of females are underrepresented in games, guess what? There are 100% okay 100% that would be like a little bit too out there but like let's just say 90% of men feel unrepresented in life out there okay you feel what I'm saying basically never really happens in the world of men fat ugly men are not encouraged it's yeah the double standard the one we yeah 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 if you're like a dude no disrespect though you know what i mean like fat people have a softer heart i do agree with Bruh. that the jokes hit very very well with them my, my my best friend who i don't even call him a friend he's like my brother he's he's fat he he, he is <laughs> and he knows it and he owns it he's like i'm working man I'm working, bro. Like, I'll get down to it. I love that enthusiasm, and I always uh, push him, like, bro, like, you gotta extend your longevity, bro. So, no disrespect, though. You, you know, I, yeah, I literally just played my best friend is fat. Yeah, I played that card because these suckers always play this card, so might as well play that card, too. By the way, my pronouns are they, them, so never forget that, all right? So, don't cancel me after saying that. But, but nah, seriously, though. If you, like, guys, like, uh, this is an objective truth. If you're a fat guy in real life, they don't treat you. Well, okay, objectively, I'm not even, th this is not even an opinion, though. You feel what I'm saying? The females would look at you, nah, this guy's a loser. This guy don't know what he's doing. This is how they think deep down. So 90% of men feel uh, unrepresented in life. Do we cry over that? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You have the short end of the stick on. Because I know it sounds crazy, but uh, expectations for us are just always higher. Whatever this sick, twisted ideology is, well, it's infected the gaming industry. Yeah. I mean, that's no secret. What with that Dove commercial in collaboration with Epic Games that I talked about. Okay, I, I never knew, like, a female. Look at that. Like, a female is playing a game that has a female protagonist. That That's that's wild. You see what I mean? Like. Wow! Beautiful. And guys, before I show you what's coming up next, I, I gotta say I have a second channel. This is where we upload UFO content, conspiracy content every single day. If you're into that, definitely check it out. And if you're able to, consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Help support the channel. Alright, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. They want to pass off this disgusting-ass thing as the new norm. You know, it's it. hilarious. It's like Dove didn't learn their lesson from watching Gillette try this already with men. <laughs> Ads meant to preach to viewers never worked. And yet they want to try oh, as hard yeah. as they can to continue pushing. <laughs> Man, life was kind of simple before all that crap. Then life started to be a little bit complicated when it, it, this crap came to Gillette. And now it's coming in the video games as well, bro. The message. They're gonna try and program that into you until eventually it works. Because they've captured all the game developers, yet they can't capture the gaming audiences. I wonder why that is. Sus, isn't it? It's almost as if these gaming companies are intentionally only hiring people of a specific mindset. And yeah. it shows because the vast majority of gaming publications and game developers spoke out against Stellar Blade, yeah, insulted yeah. its developer, insulted the demographic who likes what they see, and yeah. they had no problem being as transparent about it as they could. 
they're not hiding anything. They're they're being as completely honest as they can with us. Yeah, they don't yeah. like it that we are attracted to this. We could speculate all day about why that is. Uh, news and, and they're more so mad about the fact that like why is there like a female protagonist? They always cry that like female there there's a no man female protagonist. They always cry about that, but when we have it, it's like they cry still. I, I mean, we know it, like they don't want like an actual female protagonist. They're sexist. They're misogynist. Let's be real, guys. Let's be real. They don't like straight gamers either. They, they don't like white gamers. They don't. They don't like gamers. Like we did a video yesterday. I'm not sure if you guys saw that. The, <laughs> we saw the tweets. Okay, clearly said we hate gamers, but they're still consulting these gaming companies. They're literally making games for non-gamers their, their tagline is that we make games not for gamers essentially Bruh. right now that's what it is but they, they simply just want like a male protagonist that's what they want but dressed up as a female with 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 like a short hair wig that's uh that's what they want flash is because they seek your approval just keep denying it have them continue to chase obsessively over your approval and never give it to them it's hilarious but most importantly it's fun i mean of course unless you're ign who had to go out of their way to try and cover up how salty they are about the very existence of this pair of buttocks on eve's body in stellar blade 2. success it's not new and other games have chosen to hide yeah we saw that, that. yeah 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 let me just fast forward it wait for it guys it's just men that's Never touch a woman in their not knowing what the they look like, and so they're like, "This is what women in my video games always look like." <laughs> now, this comes from a French IGN article that went into what? lockdown after about 80 comments roasting the ever living shit out of the this journalist because for start. Ah ouais, si, ah ouais, j'ai pété des, ah ouais. By the way, I'm in Montreal, which is kind of like. Yeah, guys, I do apologize on their behalf. Yeah, recently I figured out that uh, Sweet Baby Inc. is uh, from from Montreal, guys. I I, I know, guys. Like, like it'll be. <laughs> yeah, guys, I I do apologize on their behalf. I didn't know they that's what they were doing here, man. This is uh this is what they're doing, man. Canada is like the epitome of wokeness right now, bro. Like. The game developer is married, that's no secret. Uh, yeah. The model's based off an actual woman who was yeah. brought in as and, and I could be wrong, but like there is word around that, yeah, the, the, the body is like of her, like this actual model. Like this is a real chick, right? Like the, it's real, it's real. I mean, she's a female, so this is a female character, that's what it is, right? But I believe the face is of uh, his wife, actually. Could be wrong, I, I've been hearing that a little bit. Scanned, and they refer to the character as a doll. Which yeah, last Crazy, I checked man. was supposed to that, be. That's disrespectful, Brad. That's a disrespectful, sexist bro. comment. Hmm. Yeah. Before you ask, no, no apology was ever made public. Instead, the journalist blames readers for mistranslating what he wrote. <laughs> so he goes back and just changes one word of that statement and thinks it's still okay. <laughs> no. This is incredibly unprofessional. A complete lack of knowledge over so the- So it's like, he like, nah guys, you mistranslated me and then changed the wording. Bum -bum -bum. Oh God. Developer. I instead of looking to demonize him, IGN should be looking to interview ask real questions bro i swear to god this game is gonna lower a lot of men's depression actually Bruh. you know what i'm saying like because there's an actual female character that's uh, that's an actual female i i ain't even gonna say anything more than that be just, like i'm happy because she's an actual female we finally got a game so representing females right okay as a man i'm happy about that secondly like an actual female is representing female we, we don't see that nowadays you know it's like Men are taking over, you know? Men are taking over. Like, it's like, we, we see, uh, recently we had a dude that became a sister, changed his gender, and then annihilated all the other esports chick, and won, like, the MVP in Call of Duty. Bruh. We had that in real life as well, you know, the swimming sport. Uh, right now I'm hearing that a lot of the female sports, uh, or the swimmers, they are trying to boycott it. They're not trying to go against a biological male, because he's superior, though. So men are literally, like, overtaken. Yeah, that's, like, toxic masculinity. I do agree with that. That is what toxic masculinity is when, you know, a brother changes gender, become a sister, and it's like, <laughs> let me go ahead and win all the medals in, like, uh, the, the female sports. That's, like, crazy, bro. Like... But instead, they smear... Ma the maybe I'll do that in the future as well, where I will change my gender. And, and, like, win all the, the, the gold awards in the females category, bro. Game developer. Have he ever decided to hold IGN accountable? There would be a potential lawsuit here. 
I yeah. love because we men are the best, you know. Of how the game that's supposed to be for real men. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so that David Jeffy, this is like God of War. Yeah, he always have crazy takes. Let me see. I love how the game that's supposed to be for real men who loves hot chicks and hate wokeness rewards them for pre-ordering with lots of clothes and accessories. What? To play dress of it? What the hell? Who love hot chicks and hate wokeness rewards them for pre-ordering with lots of clothes and accessories to play dress up with. Okay, God of War creator. <laughs> I'm a God of War fan, right? God of War 1, 2, and 3, amazing games. But it also had a lot of, like, like you know, uh, like, chicks with, like, mommy milkers, like, flopping out. Like, whoa, whoa! It was, like, all over the uh, screen sometimes yeah. when you would play the game. And listen, man, I loved it. No complaints about it. But, but like, minus that, if that was in the game or not, still, like, those older God of War games were just amazing, right? But they added those, like, females as well in it, like, with mommy milkers that were just flopping around, and I was a kid playing those games, and I would always be, like, looking both ways, I would be scared, like, if mama entered, like, what if? Because there was, like, I believe in God of War 3, there's, like, a section, a scene where you use a another female as, like, uh, closing the door, or there's some weird stuff, right? But, but, like, essentially, that chick is, like, has, like, mommy milkers hanging out the entire on the entire like play through those so I, I was genuinely like terrified what if my mama entered you know what i'm saying like so uh and and apparently david jaffe actually like was behind that and now he doesn't like uh, the, the the female protagonist in, in oh the, jaffe like i have a feeling you and i are destined to do this forever and i love it I must admit to uh, one of the most impressive ratios I ever gotten. I didn't even try with that tweet. I was sticking to shit when I made it. Now I do have a criticism of myself here. I should have picked an image of God of War 1. But nonetheless, the point still stands. The first three yeah, God of War yeah, games yeah. all featured mini games that were essentially softcore porn. Women were actually sexualized in these little mini games. And yeah. the way that uh, game developers of the modern day would screech Yeah, they, like this has jiggle physics, but like in God of War, the, in God of War 1 and 2, 3, the chicks had like mommy milkers just like flopping out like whoa 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 it, it was like really really hard to focus when you saw that uh not complaining though like we uh, uh, yeah not complaining but it, but it's like that's hypocritical that he would say that's not bad but this is bad the air at the gdc for how they feel yeah they were screaming at gdc yeah, strong, independent. And these mini empowering. games were awesome. This was during a time where Sony was at the top of their game. They were unstoppable with what they were pushing out. And it glorified men and was meant for the male gaze. And Jaffe understood that. Well, at least he did then. Meanwhile, in the year 2024, he's trying to basically call Stellar Blade And yet Eve is a much more modest character who's actually more appropriately dressed isn't just used as a literal sex object in a game. She's a lead. Something I thought we all wanted to support. Man, look at that. Holy crap, bro. I'd be, I be catching feelings as well, bro. Like, damn, man. And I always say, don't chase the pom pom, guys. Chase your dreams. And, and yeah, never chase the pom pom. Uh, chase your dreams. But like, playing video games with like actual female characters does lower depression rate, though. Like, I, I'm a firm believer. I'm, I'm a, I, I am a firm believer, bro. I am a firm believer, and this, like, uh, I, I actually downloaded, played the demo. Uh, it, it also calmed my blood pressure down a little bit, so I was, like, kind of cruising through, you know? Right, more female leads? No? It's amazing, because the developers had more respect behind Eve than David Jaffe's team did for women in God of War. Damn. And I'm not saying that, like, I believe it was wrong for them to do it in the original God of War games. Yeah. I'm pointing it out because it's insanely hypocritical, isn't it, Jaffe? Thank you for creating God of War. We love it, but with due respect, the imagery portrayed in the game would be problematic in the world today. The mini games alone with women was great, but it's kind of hypocritical of you to take the stance now. Exactly what stance do you think I am taking? You became woke? You seem now opposed to having beautiful women in video games? Not sure why you changed your view. One, yeah. I've always been woke. Two, I am very happy there are over-the-top sexy women in video games. And I'm also happy there are women in video games who reflect less sexualized people. So there you go, for those of you who are like, well, it was made on April 1st, you know, Jeffy's pulling one on us. Just know, he absolutely wasn't. He, he was 100% serious. I mean, if you want more proof, here's another tweet. One, demo is great. Very excited for final. Two, Tachi is hotter than Eve. Three, Jesus, 
how hard up are you people? I get I'm 52 and the T levels ain't what they used to be, but you know there's free- uh, Yeah, he's talking about testosterone levels. All over the internet. Now that's not enough, there's actual women out there! Yes, that's- that's great advice, Jaffy. Absolutely wonderful advice. Go create more <laughs> Absolutely insane. What are you thinking? How can you look at Eve and honestly tell dog like me ain't even talking about that The hub is actually bad for you in real uh, don't yeah, I guess don't just a pom pom but like this game Is like it's a female. Okay, and a true female protagonist. That's simply what it is, bro That's what it is. It ain't that deep, bro. It ain't that deep why are everybody lo yeah everybody's losing their mind guys uh, and you're not gonna believe what just recently happened you're not gonna believe it man click on this video on the screen i swear to god bro like wokeness has taken over right now check it out and i'll see you right there